So welcome ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be doing a quick tutorial, okay, on the PC version of PES 2019. Now a lot of people had some problems with this, um, and we're here to try and help. Now the main problem being is you cannot have stadium or coach or manager pictures in the files when you do this on the PC. I don't know why, I have no idea why, but it seems to mess it up. Now this isn't 100% because on the competitions, uh, I had a problem with the African Cup of Nations in the final few. But apart from that, it, I mean, it's really not a big deal because you're going to have everything else. So I'll walk you through it. The first thing, you'll obviously need uh, the file itself. If you're a gold member, you'll head in there and um, you'll get the file. Okay, we've got the normal file and we've got the PC. This is PS4 pretty much. This is PC. It may be different at this point in time. There may be a password you guys have to enter once you download it. Um, just to keep it more secure so if that's on the page find it um, it'll be right there put the password in download the file um, and then once you have it we're going to move on to the next step all right so step number one very simple get the file itself silver hub gold hub download it um, and then from there once you do have it downloaded you can see we've got them right here pc file version one within there is a wepez folder this is very important, especially on PS4. You have to have the files such as these within the WEPES folder. If they're not, if they're just on their own like this, your PlayStation 4 will not read your USB, the PC won't pick up the files, etc. So you have to have a WEPES. It's already set up for you if you download the file, but it's just there within the rest of the folder, files and folders and everything else. All right, so once you have that, you're all set. Uh, we're going to open up another window and we are going to go to our copy of uh, documents all right now within documents you're going to find konami all right there's the folder I, I would recommend you guys go in there start the game up if you haven't already and create and edit data do the live update the live update is out by the way so you're going to get the likes of fred being at manchester united and to chelsea transfers and everything else and then once you've got the edit data quit the game and then within PES 2019 you'll have the WE PES folder if that's not there obviously when you start it up then create it but it should be there once you create edit data so you're gonna go in WE PES and you're gonna paste I've already done it so I'm not gonna do it again but you're gonna paste just move these over it's gonna ask me if I want to copy them I'm gonna say no but you just want to copy the folders the files everything together right I'm gonna skip them I'm not gonna worry about it we copy all of those over, just cancel it, and uh, you are good to go. I don't care which way you do it. You can right click and you can copy, and then right click and paste. You can control C, control V, um, it's up to you. Now this isn't for Mac, I do not have a Mac. I'm not sure how it works for the Mac, unfortunately. If you know, please leave some sort of a guide in the comments, because I know people that have Macs and have struggled with it, and Mac for some reason start adding more extensions and underscores, and it's a pain in the ass. So if you do know how to do it on Mac 100%, or at least get the teams and everything in there, leave a comment, a little guide, and uh, it'd be very much appreciated. Right, so once you have those files in there, right, in Konami, PES 2019, WE PES, all the folders, all the files from the download are there, that's it. You're gonna get into the game. So we're going to go to our copy of PES. That's the wrong one, it's like the demo, but you know, PES 2019. You're going to click on it. I always run it as an admin, it's up to you, and get in the game. So I'll see you guys in the game, and uh, we will go from there. Okay, so once you're now in the game of PES 2019, uh, the live update is out, as I say. Now that's the big difference. So if you haven't done it already, you're going to go down, you're going to go to the Extras tab, you're going to go to Apply Live Update. I do this beforehand, um, get that done, and that will update the teams for you, and then you can go ahead and install the option file. All right, so apply the live update. Once you've done that, you're going to head into the famous edit mode, and from there, now I've done this, as I say, I'm not going to redo it, but it worked 100%. I let it run for 10, 15 minutes, and it was sorted. So you're going to go down. Now there is also one step you need to do with Bundesliga and I'll show you that. But you go to Import Export. If you've done this from last year, you'll know. You go to Import Team. You'll click OK. That's where it tells you you have to put the files, which is what we did. And if you did it correctly, you should have all of these. All right, you shouldn't just have one league or two leagues. You should have a bunch, a bunch of files. 
that are all there for you. I mean, La Liga and everything else. Now, you can just do it all in one clean swoop, all right? So you can hit X on Xbox, um, not on Xbox, because Xbox doesn't work. I'm on PC, but I'm using an Xbox type setup. Um, so I'm gonna hit X or Square on the PS4 controller. It's gonna select everything. Before you click next, you need to deselect the Bundesliga because those are different. They have different players. They've been imported. They've been created. If you do it by clicking that, it's going to mess it up. All right. So everything should be ticked minus the Bundesliga, which is Dortmund and Bayern Munich for this version. Version two, we will have a thoroughly more updated Bundesliga. Then you'll go to advanced settings. Leave these alone. Do not touch them and click OK, all right? And that is it, it's now gonna run through it, as I say, for 15 odd minutes, and it should import every single um, team. Now make sure you have the newest PC file from the website, because I have updated it. Uh, the other one was causing issues. So once that is done, okay, you can go out if you want, and you can quickly check, if you go to Teams, that, you know, all the teams are there. You've got all the teams, as I say, all the teams are are updated as well um, so Jorginho's in there Kovacic for Chelsea you've got Fred uh, Chong Gomez all the young lads are in there Dalla as well so just make sure everything is running smoothly but if you have a look at the Bundesliga of course you won't have you will have Bayern because I've I've just done it before okay but you will not have Borussia Dortmund or Bayern you can see the players are messed up I'll do that in just a second for you guys but you shouldn't have Bayern Munich or Dortmund at this stage. You should just have, you know, La Liga with all the badges, all the teams, Premier League, etc., etc. So once you've checked and it's good, we're going to do that again. But we're going to do it for Bayern and Dortmund. So you're going to go down. You're going to find Dortmund. You're going to find Bayern. You're just going to tick those two on its own. You're going to go back to the top, advanced settings. And this time, you have to make sure you've got apply player and squad data and overwrite image files of the same name, okay? If you don't tick those two, it's, it's going to import the kits and the badges, but it won't do the team itself with all the players. So tick those two boxes and once again, click OK. I'm not going to do it. I've already done it. It won't take long because it's only two teams, literally a minute, and then head off back and you're all sorted there. So once you have done that, um, you will notice in Bundesliga that Bayern Munich and Dortmund all have the same name. But don't worry, that can be resolved. Um, we're going to go in there, we're going to go to game plan. And as you can see, Neuer is literally playing every position. What a legend. <laughs> but you just need to go over to data management, down to default, click it, reset all topics. Um, and that's it. There you go. Now you have Get out of here the players playing in the right positions um, And you can tweak it as much as you want to tweak it. if you want to tweak the formation Obviously you can do that. It's up to you. I'll probably play Bayern a little bit more like that Maybe switch Mull around um, Well, apparently he's not really a left winger is he? He's a right winger, so we'll put him there. So there we go now Martinez got created That's why he has no face and Robin's been created as well uh, but the other players are in the game. So that's that. When you back out now, you will see it's uh, it's been solved. The only thing is some of the naming conventions, you can see the likes of Robin has a dot before that. I don't know why that's happened. That's, um, that's rather interesting. I don't know. It's, PC is such a finicky thing. It's... We don't make this for PC generally. We make it on PS4 and then we kind of convert it over. And this is the the problems you have. Uh, so we're just going to do this again with the default. I mean, you could now go in there and you could just quickly tweak some of these names if you want to add the um, the initial before their name, like A. Robin, etc. Uh, J. Rodriguez, but. Anyway, they're there, and that's how you get them. Uh, and hopefully for the next update, it'll be short, sorted out a little bit more. And just to double check, we can go down to Bayern, and we can make sure the players are, of course, there. And the kits are looking sharp. The kits are fantastic. I mean, they're all HD. They're all the highest quality you can get. There's Martinez, who's been created. Uh, you've got Muller. There's the, the Robin. That's a pretty good Robin for an in-game edit. 
Uh, we didn't use any real faces. That's that's been created in game. Um, so yeah, it's all looking good there. And then the final thing you want to do, and the problem with this one is it, a few team, um, a few competitions aren't going to be loaded. I had a problem with the African Cup of Nations. Now you can try it and see what happens, but this is the same thing. You'll hit X or square, tick every single box. I mean, it pretty much does everything up to this point. Um, so you're not going to get these ones, but they're not really the main ones. You're still going to get the Champions League logo, the Europa League and all that. You go to advanced, you'll leave that off and you'll click OK. OK, and then it will import those competitions. And once it's done, you can double check and you can see you've got the Champions League, Europa League, the Super Cup. Uh, you've got the Premier League, the Sky Bet, you know, City A and all that. It's all there for you guys, so yeah, that's that's really the only issue. There's a few minimal ones at the bottom, but this is the best we're going to get right now. Um, now, if you want to change the teams, all right, and you want to move them around because they're not in order initially, as you can see, they just aren't. You're going to have to go in here and you have to just move them around. Okay, it's not. It doesn't take too long. There's nothing we can do about that. The option file just imports. And then it mixes them all up and it actually shambles. But you can go in here and you can just move teams around uh, and put them in order. I recommend you probably do that because it is a pain when you've got like, you know, Fulham at the bottom when they're an F and they should be nearer the top. Um, so to go to that, you can see, just go to competition structure, go to Europe, and then you can use the right buttons to flick through and just sort of quickly, it doesn't take long, it literally doesn't, move teams around. And once you've done that, they will be in alphabetical order. And that's pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. Then you're all set. You're ready to roll. You shouldn't have any problems. If you do import it and it has an error the first time, I just recommend trying it the second time, but it shouldn't. I had no problems with the teams. They all imported first time for me. So, yeah, no problems at all. Anyway, that is uh, the tutorial. Any problems, let me know. Um, we will be back shortly. I'm trying to make it as simple as possible. But there we go. That's the PC for now. And as a more updated one comes out, of course, we'll update those as well. But subscribe for more, lots of content to come. My Master League will be getting started soon once we have a good sort of patch to run off. And then we'll get things rolling. But until next time, take care.